is this seems to be a, a mythical claim which has no reality, no foundation, but it has foundation in every nature, even in the nature of atheists to find evidence of this. And uh, to remind you of uh, the verdict of a philosopher, is it Kant or Kant? Mm. Pronunciation? Kant. 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 Yes. Kant. 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 That's right. Kant was a non-believer. We know that. And he studied many an argument presented by the Christian world he knew in favor of God, that is the logical and philosophical argument, and he rejected all arguments with his own counter uh, logic. But when he came to this argument which is mentioned in the Holy Quran, he was stuck and he had to admit defeat. He said, only there is one argument which keeps agitating my mind and I find no answer, find no answer to that. He said, why on earth should we find the quest for God all over the world without fail belonging to all ages of human experience? He said, this is what keeps bothering me. And if there is one strong logical argument in favor of the existence of God, I believe this is what it should be. And you have again reminded me of the same. What Kant said so many hundreds of years ago is proved again in your person and in the person of so many people around the world who are in search of God. Now I come to the Quranic answer. The Holy Quran says, Allazina jahadu fina lahnahdi yannahum sobarana. Now, although the Holy Quran speaks of a straight path, every religion claims to be that straight path. The Christianity claims to be that way, the only way which leads to God. The Holy Quran says, Surat al Mustaqim. You are right, and again, this is related to your question, the foundation you laid for that question. I hear everywhere, come here, come hither, and we will lead you to look to God. The Holy Quran says, from whichever path they seek me. It doesn't specify a certain path on which God would be found. It says, who, those who genuinely and profoundly inquire about me and want me to, uh, want to be led on to me, from whichever path they begin their journey, they can't reach me, but I can reach them. Allazina jahadu fina, those who make endeavor in search of us. La nahdi yanna hum sobalana. It is we and we alone who can lead them to ourselves and we promise that we lead them to ourselves. Now this does away with all the claims and counterclaims of various religions and narrows your search only to one in one direction. That is, instead of asking people, ask God. Cry to him, but not like Shelley, not like the astronauts, but like all the previous prophets of God, who when did cry in search of God, they were always answered. So, that is all I can say in answer to your question, which is very profound and it reminds me of so many things which were not included in the question, but I, uh, with due pardon, I answered them as well. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the other question, um, about 25, 25 years ago, I found a very old book in Devon. It was about 100 years old then. And it was a uh, hundred years of history of Palestine. That's right. Uh, long before Ben Gurion and uh, and all that. That in the book mm -hmm. there was one piece that interested me because at that particular time I was going to the Isle of Wight to a place called Freshwater, mm -hmm. and there's a castle there called Carrisbrook. <laughs> and in the book it said on the planet 
there were 12 fresh water wells and there was in Russia and the Middle East da, da, da. and one of these wells was on the Isle of Wight at Carisbrook Castle. Now this morning when we were traveling here, a friend of mine who knows a lot more about Islam than I did was telling me that there is a well in Mecca, something to do with a heel. And this the water, this, this eternal... It's probably from, the, from under the heels of the thirsty child. Yeah. That's right, yeah. I was wondering, perhaps, that was... I mean, do you know about this story? There's only 12 natural wells on no, the land. I, I don't know of that story, but I know of one real um, piece of history. Hmm. When 12 wells were created by the staff of Moses, hmm. There were the 12 of 12 um, springs Sides. or fountains of water mm. springing from the heart of the rock. Mm. Now, I know there does exist such a place where we still find the evidence of this, though not in the simple way people understand, mm. spread over a reasonable distance, we find 12 fountains of water by which uh, the Israelites, uh, you know, took shelter and stand, stood, mm -hmm. remained there for I God knows how many years, but they benefited from that water and that played a very vital role in their survival. Mm -hmm. So the number 12 applies to that. Mm -hmm. Now, I do not know who the author is. I can't remember. I do not know what he meant by that, but possibly he may have referred to those twelve yeah. springs or fountain heads of water uh -huh. and uh, was considering them to have spread over all the, spread all over the Christian world uh -huh. and from that through his own dialectical thinking uh -huh. he could have imagined that if that is true that his his uh, interpretation uh -huh then one should be found even in Britain. Mm. Because Britain had also played a very important and vital role in the spread of Christianity. Mm. So maybe his study of European geography and things were mm. more perfect than most can claim. And he found this uh, spring of water by the, in the Isle of Wight. I mean, all this is guesswork. Yeah. Unless we can lay hands to that book, we still, we were not in a position to explain. I gave it to a Jew for his yes. birthday. But that uh, incident, which you referred to, happened in Mecca, yeah. was much earlier than the concept of 12 sources of water was ever born. Uh -huh. The 12 fountain heads of water are related to Moses. I can and remember him hitting, was, hitting, but hitting when the rock. When you talk of that spring found in Mecca, you're talking of the days of Abraham. <laughs> uh -huh. You see? Yeah. So that could not be included in those twelve which were not yet born. That was one and only one at that time which is referred to in religious literature. Yeah. This, this book was talking back Abraham's time and he was also stating that the original wars in the Middle East started over water rights. But water the Holy rights. Quran speaks of that but does not relate it to Abraham, to, to Moses. Uh -huh. Those twelve are outside the number of the one. Uh -huh. That one is not included in the number twelve. That is what I am trying to explain. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Good morning, Hazar. Good morning. I 